Hi guys, today we will talk about Suicide Squad. In an electrifying revelation that sent shockwaves through the gaming community, a leaked not final trailer at a recent trade show unveiled tantalizing details about the highly anticipated game, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Developed by the acclaimed studio Rocksteady, this game is poised to redefine the gaming experience, offering players unprecedented freedom and thrilling challenges. The trailer showcased the game's dual release strategy, with two exciting versions to choose from. The Deluxe Edition, priced at £99, promises an unparalleled gaming journey. Purchasers of this edition will enjoy exclusive access to the game three days prior to the official release. Additionally, players will receive valuable battle pass points and an array of extra costumes, allowing for a deeply personalized gameplay experience. For those looking for an affordable yet enhanced option, the Day 1 edition is priced at £69, granting players access to extra costumes that add a layer of customization to their characters. Beyond these enticing additions, the game itself boasts a myriad of groundbreaking features. Players can immerse themselves in the dynamic universe of the DC comics, where the cityscape comes alive with real-time weather and a seamless day-night cycle. Metropolis, the game's sprawling urban landscape, dwarfs even Gotham from the critically acclaimed Arkham Knight, promising endless exploration and jaw-dropping vistas. According to Leaker, Metropolis is twice the size of Gotham and Arkham Knight, rock steady, not content with delivering just the base game, has committed to a year's worth of additional content. This includes the introduction of new characters and missions, ensuring that players will have fresh challenges to tackle and intriguing characters to encounter long after the initial release. One of the most exciting aspects of Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is its emphasis on player choice. Gamers can team up with friends for an epic co-op experience or embark on the adventure solo, seamlessly switching between the four distinct characters. Each character, whether it's the sharpshooting deadshot or melee-focused heroes, offers a unique gameplay style. The game empowers players to tailor their experience according to their preferences, delivering a level of flexibility rarely seen in modern gaming. Crucially, the trailer emphasized the absence of microtransactions and detailed the refreshing lack of games-as-a-service elements. This commitment to player-friendly practices ensures that the game's integrity remains intact, allowing players to enjoy a genuinely immersive experience without interruptions or paywalls. As the anticipation for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League continues to build, it's evident that Rocksteady is not just creating a game, they're crafting a universe where players can truly become a part of the action. With its innovative features, commitment to player choice, and enticing additions, this game is set to revolutionize the way we perceive superhero gaming. Brace yourselves, gamers, for a thrilling adventure awaits, where the line between heroism and villainy is blurred, and the fate of the world hangs in the balance. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Sleepyhead, we've got an interrogation to get back to. Hey. You think I'm just gonna let you walk away? And tell these guys everything you know? <laughs> you think they can stop us? Pathetic. Pathetic? At least I'm not a 
big hero turned stooge for a spaceman! <laughs> okay, Boomerang. You want to see what a real hero can do? I'll show you. Flash, how do I stop this? <laughs> Please, tell me how. You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. 